Um, I'm, I'm Eric Kaplan. I'm with the International Transport Forum at the OECD. We're an intergovernmental organization working for the Ministry of Transport for 59 governments. Um, and one of the works we've been working on, on on the ITF over the last couple of years is looking at accessibility in cities and really trying to benchmark a global, uh, building a global benchmark uh, for accessibility in cities of all the cities in the world, about 300,000 population. This has been work that has been done more on the access to the bus stop, sort of bus near transit, near, near bus transit type of measures and how, how many people, how many population you can reach within a certain time frame. But now we are improving this work uh, and measuring access to services, uh, looking at uh, opportunities, because that's what matters at the end of the day. Um, so we are we're looking at European cities at the moment. This is very data-rich work. Uh, it has about, uh, so, so we have all urban areas in, the, in Europe, about 300,000 population, uh, the 11 service categories, uh, the, the cities are divided into one kilometer grids. So we have uh, uh, one million, over one million origins and therefore destinations in each of the city in, 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 this, uh, in this whole uh, region of Europe. And so a uh, multiple origin destination possibilities, obviously. So it's, it's a huge uh, data matrix. So that, given that, it's sometimes very difficult for de decision makers, policy makers, users to actually get into that data and, and try to understand what can you get out of it. So we think that visualization is extremely important part of, of conveying the messages coming from this huge amount of data. So I'm going to just show you a couple of visualizations, uh, very simple ones. One way to visualize data is to look at the uh, a number of opportunities you can reach uh, within a time frame from different parts of the city. Here's an accessibility to shops by car within 15 minutes in Berlin. So if you're looking at one individual country, uh, uh, city at the time, uh, I think you can get additional insights if you combine these accessibility data with other social economic indicators. Here we've looked at uh, accessibility by income group in, in Paris uh, uh, to schools uh, in, in this case. Um, so you can see actually the red one is the low income areas in, in northern Paris and the, the blue ones, the strong blue ones are the high income areas in the south. And, and when you look at the accessibility by, by public transit in the same city, you can actually see how a lot of the public transit is actually uh, favoring the high income core city where all the high income people are living. And while in the north, where the public transit uh, is offered, is, there's a quick decline to the uh, accessibility compared to the car access. And keep in mind that, that a lot of these people who live in the northern parts don't even have a uh, possibility to own a car. So these are the kind of insights, but just looking at the maps, putting the data on the map, and you can, you can start thinking what, what are the consequences and how the, the access changes by different modes and so on. But this is just to look at one city at a time. Uh, what we also want to do is to compare your cities. And, and this is a work that is ongoing. We do have this uh, presentation, a live version of this coming in the Transforming Transportation uh, event later this week. Uh, I didn't have the technology uncertainty, so I'm just going to show slides of the, of the version. So this is an online tool that allows the users to look at, compare your city with other cities around the world, or in this case in, in Europe, in terms of access. And my colleagues here are currently rebuilding this online tool, and it's a work in progress. Uh, you, you can look at the share of, uh, of population with access to a minimum basket of services, which we have here. So uh, Stockholm, for example, in this case, uh, you can define the minimum basket of services yourself as well if you, in, in the future. Uh, here we define in terms of the services, uh, uh, access to shops, 53% uh, of, of people in Stockholm have uh, 10 restaurants within a 15 minute walk. So these are kind of thresholds for the, for the access to services. Now the other way around to look at it is to uh, rank the cities according to the variety of their uh, service access. So what kind of services you can access. And each petal in this, in this these flower petals are actually the service categories. So you have uh, education, schools, uh, hospitals, healthcare, shopping, restaurants, other attractions, re recreation services. So here we're looking, for example, uh, uh, in case of access to diversity of, of opportunities by car, uh, um, down here, uh, Madrid is doing very well, although some access to uh, healthcare services are not that good in, in, in overall. Uh, you can choose the different mode of in public transport. Budapest becomes the best in terms of access to a variety of services. And, and going to the walking. Uh, <laughs> 
that was my last slide. So <laughs> any, and, and the only thing I just want to say, you can weigh your services as well, and depending on your own personal preferences. Thank you very much. Thank you.